and besties, you are watching YouTube Live with Toya and Bella. This week we are doing a very simple project. Actually, it's like deceivingly simple because it's as easy or as difficult as you want to make. So we are making line art for the dollhouse, miniature line art. It's got this nice little aesthetic minimalism kind of thing going on. And uh, all you need to do this project is small pieces of foam board, popsicle sticks, <laughs> or skinny sticks. I like using skinny sticks because they're easier to cut. Then I'm also using a pencil and a marker. This is a thin marker so we can get nice thin lines. All right, we're good. <laughs> Doing some small adjustments. So what I do first is I do have some paper standing by where I can sketch out some ideas. What's up, Victoria Beckham? How you doing? What's up, Aurora? How you doing, Mercedes? What's up? What's up, Skylar Smith? Good evening at 3 o'clock. Oh, you must be like on the other side of the world. So, uh, what's up? Okay, so when I make my line art, I totally cheat. I'm totally cheat at the line art. What I do first is I use a pencil and I sketch out the actual picture. So I'm going to like... I have a piece of paper here because if you do this on foam board you have to be really really light so you don't make an impression so we're going to do our instructions real fast then we'll just get to it so what i do is i take a piece of paper and uh let's see what i'm gonna draw with a leaf can i draw a leaf upside down backwards all right hold on so i'll sketch out a leaf right this is difficult there we go it's like a heart all right so we got like a heart can you kind of see that heart shape there and then we'll have like another heart. <laughs> oh, look, another heart right here, okay? So I'll start with that. And then let's see, we'll have like a line going down the center. And then maybe a line down here. And then they kind of meet up, right? And then another line right here. So I can have the basics of a really bad leaf, right? And then I'll go back and add my little details. Let me just put my paper down for a minute. Oh, I drew it backwards. Okay, so we have a leaf, then we put the little lines that come out the sides of the leaf, like so. And a little loop-de-loop -loop there, a little loop there, a little loop there. Okay, so I'm using a pencil to like draw in my details. Now I go back with a Sharpie and I do it all in one line to make my line art. So now I'm going to go over it with the Sharpie and pick a point start to trace it here we go just give me a second while I do this all right so then I went over it with a sharpie you can see that going on and I get a pencil and I go back and I erase all of my eraser markings and you end up with this is like an earlier test run something like that then you go ahead and cut your popsicle sticks glue them around the edge and you have some miniature art line art fantastic for the dollhouse can be used in any room really easy to make and it's a great way to use leftover foam board if you have a whole bunch of that lying around because I do also we also use um, poster board yes poster board you could use it on paper and then cover cardboard so there's a lot of options we're about to get started now that we've gone through the instruction let's get started have you already started yeah I've already two. Oh, do you care to share this one says the line <laughs> okay let's, here we go let's let's do this I got a little backdrop paper here so it literally just says line all right yeah. And then what's the other yeah, one? This one is hands. It's not that good. I like it. So there we have it's some. Down. Is that upside down? How do you? How can you tell? Okay. Well, that no, that's upside down. Wait, I, I just turned it upside down. Can see? Look, can you see? This way. You don't even know. Okay, <laughs> so here it is, right there. So very simple line art, and I think you just did that while I was giving the instruction. Okay, so while we are working on our line art, we are going to open it up to questions. Because we love all of you. What's up, Jordan? How you doing? 
Uh, it says, Marilyn wants to know, what? I, I lost it. What's the next question? Uh, will you, will you do more Sophie and Chloe? Y'all gotta chill, man. <laughs> we got, we got plans. And I'm not gonna, I can't give away all the plans. So, um, Summer and Callie has a new episode coming out tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Yes! We have a new Summer and Callie coming out tomorrow. It is being edited right now. And hopefully we'll be able to get that premiere up and running. I like the premieres. I hope you all like the premieres. It gives us an opportunity to talk to all of you. So as soon as it is done being edited with all of its fun special effects, we'll post it. The notice on YouTube, you'll see that the premiere is coming. It will show tomorrow at noon because it's our upload time, Saturdays at noon. And uh, I will be in the comments 30 minutes before so we can chit chat before the show. So new summer in Cali. I think we have some really fun surprises. Um, there's been a lot of people out there guessing what's going to happen next. Some of you have been right. And you will be pleasantly surprised, I hope. We'll see uh, what's happening. Yes, there's a cliffhanger. There's always a cliffhanger. So prepare yourself for that. Um, are, are we going to use the doll apartments? I'm still building the doll apartments. So they all need to get decorated. And as soon as we get them decorated, we'll make videos on that process. You love the Wonder Woman shirt? Wonder Woman! Yes, I love Wonder Woman. And I just got the Wonder Woman um, 84 dolls. And I'm working on that right now. It's on my craft table. And we'll get that review out real fast. Then we'll get out our 19, no, BMR 1959 review and we'll have a quick craft in that as well so you can make some miniature my froggy stuff bmr 1959 inspired doll shoe boxes so they're for dolls but they are inspired by the bmr 1959 doll box so that's coming up and it has bella's artwork on the front yep yay can you even tell i'm wearing lipstick today i was like let's be bold and wear lipstick that looks like our lip color <laughs> yeah uh, yeah, Baby Yoda chilling in the back right there. What's up? Uh, okay, next question. It says, can you do stained glass? We have done stained glass. I believe we did stained glass in our Mystery Shack video. We have a Gravity Falls Mystery Shack video. Um, yes, there is stained glass in that. And there is a long time ago when we did uh, Rochelle Goyle. Am I pronouncing that right? So. Monster High, Rochelle Goyle. Uh, oh, boogies. We did her, she did a, a faux stained glass window for her. So we do have some uh, videos for that. Can you make a chicken coop? Sure. I'll add that to the list. Chicken coop. But we're not going to eat the chickens, right? We're just going to like say, oh, they're cute and raise baby chicks all day. Want to do that? Because I'm all for that. Um... It says, are you going to be in the comments after this vid? Usually after this vid, I have to, after we go live, I have to run and start another video. So um, I, I try to answer comments here and there, like throughout the day. So I have like my phone and I pick up my phone when I'm on a, a quick break and I'll answer comments and, and keep going. Okay. What's up, Maria? Huh? It's doing weird things to my eyes. Like from far away, it looks like a little, just like... Sporadic? It's the wrong side, dude. I know. Oh. <laughs> uh, yeah, so it's some, some interesting line art there. I'm just going to go for something really, really simple right quick. I'm just do something really simple. It says, where do you get your mini, uh, mini brands from? Usually I find them at Target. I, I go to Target more than I go to Walmart, but I know Walmart has them sporadically. But I go to Target more, and I usually find them at Target. Not all the time. It's kind of like a hit or miss kind of thing. A few weeks ago, every Target I went to was loaded with mini brands. And uh, we had a lot of luck finding them. Now, not so much. When will you begin a new Smart Doll series? We have Smart Doll unboxings. I can do that. <laughs> but like, Smart Dolls are really, really large. And for me, it's a little difficult sometimes to... Uh, manipulate 
like the way I hold a Barbie versus a smart doll because you need big sets and everything. So it's a little more difficult for me to probably do a smart doll show from just the way I'm used to filming. I would have to learn a whole new way to film in order to do that, you know, so. Uh, can you make a smart doll house? We have a smart doll room. Smart dolls are two feet tall. So for a smart doll house, that would be a gigantic house. <laughs> I mean, it's doable, but I'm I'm good with the uh, with rooms. You know, I don't know. What about you? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Um, it says, can you make a series where you make tiny food? All of our food is tiny because we're a miniature channel. So all of our crafts are miniatures. So all of our food is tiny. And every time we do a food craft video, it's going to be tiny. So uh, you, we have a whole playlist on food and we have a couple mashups if you want to watch them all together i think one of our earlier mashups are like an hour long so it's a lot of videos there where can you get articulated dolls i get i use mainly the barbie fashion no the barbie made to move body made to move barbie body is my number one articulated doll body and i can find those at walmart and target or amazon lately everything's been amazon any new integrity toy dolls Dude, okay, so I ordered a Poppy Parker, and it, it was like a pre-order thing, and then I've been waiting for the thing to pay the rest of the balance. I don't like the way it's kind of set up. So, like, with Integrity Toys, sometimes they want you to put down, like, a, a, a down payment. I want to just pay for the whole thing at once. I don't want to do down payments, and they don't give you that option, so... There's some things we're working on. Um, can you do Broadway-themed crafts? We have a theater right now. We have a big, huge theater. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> She's like, I don't know what you want from me right now. Um, if you're talking about specific Broadway plays, we can definitely look into that. So uh, give us a moment. It's, what's the next question? Uh, Someone said, do you like day or night? I like day. What about you? Yeah. You like day? Yeah. Can you, can you write really lightly, happy crafting? Because your handwriting is so much better than mine. Handwriting is terrible. You're just in cursive, in cursive, right? Happy crafty, like in that line thing you did. I'm just, I'm just going to get her to do my line art for me because she's really good. So, yeah, do that. All right. Line art done. I was going to get her to do it. Um, it's not even 3 o'clock yet. It is 3.13 here, Eastern Standard Time. Can you do school supplies for 2020? I guess we need some computers <laughs> for school supplies, yeah. 2020. Uh, where we live, all school is mandatory online for the upcoming school year. So, um... I'm not complaining. That is not what I asked you to do. Well, what is Now it? go over it with black ink. Make it look good. Okay. You go ahead and finish wow. that. Okay. <laughs> so, when will there be another summer, Kelly? We just said! Summer in Cali is coming out tomorrow at noon. Can we do a room tour? Like this room? Because you're looking at it. <laughs> it's a, We're in a shed. This is a very small room with just like a back wall. And on the other side, you see lights. If you follow us on Instagram, we have done quite a few uh, little walks around the shed. So you can see that on Instagram. It says, are there darker made to bodies? Yes! The BMR 1959 dolls! The ones from uh, the first run, they have a uh, curvy, uh, a nice dark girl, dark, dark skin. And then the ones that just came out, there is a petite. So we have all of those and we'll be making a video real, real soon. Can you do a Little Pet Shop DIY? We made an entire pet shop! We did! It's called Little Froggy's Pet Shop. That video is on YouTube at My Froggy Studio. It didn't come very good. It's not terrible. I don't have very cursive in here. You used to have amazing cursive. What you, happened? You don't use it, you lose it. So we, we traded cursive for anime. Yeah. All right, I'll take it. So this is what I had asked her to do for me, and my lines aren't straight. But it's okay. Artist objective. You straight lines? You didn't say straight Yeah, lines. like straight line, heavy crafting, then straight line over. Oh. It's okay. Artist objective, and there's always another side. <laughs> 
<laughs> love you okay he says please do the new omg doll boxings we've already opened up one we have three more to go they're all here and um i'm doing printables to go along with them so it's just gonna take me a second because it takes a little while to make those printables and to space them out can you do a i don't know what that is um what's your name my name's toya and she's bella Shout out to Ellie Gibson. What's up? Why is Bella always on her phone? Dude, you know. I'm looking at the comments. Yeah. And she just does what she does. And I'm literally looking at the comments. <laughs> <laughs> so she's reading the comments so we can an um, a answer all of y'all's questions. Can you do tiny decorations? Tiny decorations for what? What are you interested in? Because we have a uh, New Year's. We have the holidays like Christmas and Halloween. We have a birthday party for Barbie's 60th. We did a whole birthday party scene. So let's let us know exactly what you're interested in and we will do our best. Is Bella 15 yet? Yes, she is. See? Much better. It doesn't, no, the cursive isn't good. I like it. So here's another line art. It says happy crafting. But you know, you know, straight lines. You know. I, I can only do the best I can without a ruler. <laughs> and an iPad. <laughs> I appreciate it. It's going to go in our doll room. I'll get to put a frame around it. Um, can you make a made-to-move OMG doll? I've seen one on Instagram. They're, the, the neck hole of the OMG doll is really, really small versus what a Barbie neck hole is. So you would have to, you know, cut out something to be able to, to get it to fit. Um, personally... My personal opinion is that I like the OMG doll on the OMG body. But if you would like to just see it, uh, we can do the best we can. Got to do some skin matching to see if we can do it. But I personally like them on their current bodies. I don't love their legs because it's like a bend and snap, which isn't my favorite. I do wish there was a hinge there. But um, I don't know, because their heads are so large, I feel like the proportions... Having that whole curvy body kind of works with them because their heads are huge. But that's just me. Um, can you make a dog park? We have we have a dog park video on YouTube. It says, when is the new Smart Doll unboxings? I'm, I got it. I'm going to do it. I just haven't had time to sit down and unbox it yet. I have the beautiful Nostalgia. And um, she's T, so now I have a lot of skin tones that I like. There's a new skin tone, it's blue, but I haven't got there yet. He's releasing these dolls faster than I can buy them. So I can't buy smart dolls like every day, like they're expensive. So I have to wait and save up. And if I know I'm buying a smart doll that month, I can't buy other dolls. So right now I kind of use a lot of my doll budget already on like OMG dolls. <laughs> so I have to wait a minute to be able to get the, uh, the smart doll, so get more. I do have one waiting, but we have to have time to get unboxed. Shout out to Irluwe IFA. I destroyed that. Shout out. What's up? Okay. It says, where do you get your glasses? Funny you should ask, because this is our first time buying our glasses online. Yeah. I did a post on the frog vlog on our Instagram, and we bought our glasses from I Buy Direct. Is that correct? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a website. I did like all this research before I even did it. Like I went and looked at Forbes articles, who is the best online retailer, all that. And this is one of the ones that were on the list. The problem we're having is finding glasses big enough. Like for some reason, nobody wants to make really huge glasses. So come on, eye glass people, get with it. Give us some big glasses. Like, right. I want them to like cover my ears. <laughs> and but this is the biggest we could find and we, we just got them what yesterday mm -hmm. so so far enjoying it we actually have the same exact pair on just different prescriptions so it works can you do a baby yoda room we did in our baby yoda video check out our baby yoda haul um when i do my rooms i don't like plaster baby yodas like all over the place i am sweating why? It's not even that hot in here. Literally, the air conditioning's on and you're sweating. It's like early menopause, man. Okay, <laughs> so, <laughs> like early onset. Like hot flashes, man. I'm dying. Um, Someone said, Froggy, do you watch, or, wait, do you watch anime? I do. 
I do watch anime. I can say that with confidence now. Because a long time ago, she would shame me. You did. You did a lot of shaming. Because the only anime I watched was Sailor Moon. Oh. And, um... You're just like, that's not anime. That's like OG that anime. anime. I didn't say it was anime. That's like literally like OG. Yeah, I know. Like Ghost in the Shell OG. And I've watched Ghost in the Shell, which is not kid friendly, but I've seen a lot of episodes of Ghost in the Shell. And I've seen Dragon Ball Z. So, you know, yeah, I do watch a little bit of anime. Yeah, you, you, watch, you watch not all of Haiku yet, but you're like on the path to watching like a full entire series. Yes. And but- we just started My Hero Academia. Which, uh, but right, I'm sorry. Don't okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's like Deku like is crying like every. Oh five my god, he's seconds. so annoying. <laughs> so I actually skipped first season the first time I watched it, and I just watched season. I watched the season one recap on season two. And you know, it's okay for There's you know like to cry. Fight scene. It's okay to cry. I I'm all, all for being in touch with your emotions. You know, but dude is crying like nonstop. Like, come on. Every five minutes. He <laughs> added every five minutes. It's, like, excessive. Come on. Uh, but Hayaku right now is my absolute favorite. The switching from uh, dubbed to subtitles was a hard transition for me. Yeah, because we watched... Netflix has season one and two dubbed. And then we had to watch season three in Crunchyroll. And, like, uh... uh my, one of my favorite characters. What was his name? Daichi. Da- Daichi. Daichi's voice... Was a completely different person, and I was just like, okay, I can't watch this anymore. But I went ahead and sucked through it, and I'm happy I did because the story is like amazing. So, um, when do you actually usually go live? We go live every single Friday at three o'clock mm. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, during the school year, we go live at seven because school. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Shout out to Jenna. What's up? It says, can you do a Wonder Woman room? We have a Wonder Woman video from our, when the, uh, bleh. We have a Wonder Woman video from when the movie came out the first time. Uh, that is on YouTube, at my froggy stuff. Can you make Killian Hook Barbie? Dude, I am not super awesome at custom dolls. I try. But, um, when the people are, like, beautiful, like, Killian, um, what's his name? Killian? It is Killian. I don't know. It's Hook, okay? From Once. When they're, like, beautiful people, it's, like, super intimidating. Um, Wait, the guy with the beard? Hook. Oh. You know? He was, like, had a British accent. And oh, left him. Around in leather. Yeah, he was super Giant cool. hook arm. Yeah, so. Or hand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, shout out to Malaya G. What's up? Can you do AG doll crafts? Most of our crafts can be resized. We do uh, Barbie and we do uh, Smart Doll. So Smart Doll is close to American Girl. So a lot of things that will fit a Smart Doll will fit a um, uh, American Girl, except for like clothes. So, uh, but like accessories would totally match up. Baby Yoda is like just straight chilling over your shoulder. It's not Baby Yoda. It's the child. You don't even call it that. Well, because I'm reading the comments. Y'all messing me up. Okay, it's the child. <laughs> Shout out to Isabel Q. What's up? Can you do a mini a room for mini Toya? We just did. So if you check out our 14 uh, quick crafts video, that is the construction of my actual room in real life, which is totally not decorated. But I made it. For Mini Toya, and then recently in our uh, boho chic room, we redesigned the room for the way I'm decorating my actual bedroom. So that is Mini Toya's bedroom right there. What's up, Vivian's world? What's up? Can you make an IKEA room? We have made an IKEA room. <laughs> we got that video on YouTube, and we're constantly adding to it. So uh, keep. You can literally Google my froggy of IKEA, and you'll be able to see all of the videos that we've done. Uh, inspired by Ikea. Mm. So, shout out to Angelique. What's up? Can you do all bunk beds? We have bunk beds. We even have a versus bunk bed video. We've made a lot of videos, y'all. Like, over 2,000 videos. <laughs> Can you make more printables? Yes! We actually just made a printable today. We shrunk down... Um, no, we took our shoebox printable and I attached the lid and we made it look like the BMR 1959 doll box, but it's my froggy stuff, like, version. And so that 
printable will be coming up as soon as we launch that video, which should be sometime next week, most likely. Shout out to Michaela. What's up? Uh, can you make a doll school? We have a doll school. So we did the front of a school in our doll prom video. When we did the decoration for the prom, we first built the outside of the school. And then we did several classroom videos where you can just put them all together. So check that out. Tie-dye room. Okay, that is on the list. We do have plans to do the tie-dye outfit. I am working on that. Right now, my mom doesn't come into work anymore. So, mom, if you're watching, love you. But she doesn't come in. So it, um, it just puts a little bit more of the things that she used to cover, like getting some of the outfits made ahead of time. Now I have to do that. So it slows me down a tiny bit. What's up, Emmy? What's up? Someone said, can you do a Hollywood house? What's a Hollywood house? What is a Hollywood I'm house? I'm thinking, because, like I'm a thinking art rock deco. star art deco. Ooh. And it's like, you have like, I don't know, like huge, like, okay. It's like white, right? The inside of the house is all white. I've literally built this house since before. <laughs> that crazy house yeah. you made in The Sims? Okay. And it's the inside, the inside and outside is all white with black doors and black um, windows. And... But you would build the outside of the house too? I mean, if you're doing it outside, usually I just do a room. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. If you want it outside, we can try to do that. Craftopia is on the list. Hollywood Art Deco House. Okay. Yeah. All right. We'll put that on the list. It's like sculptures and stuff, like old. I'm just gonna do a room. Okay. I don't know if I'm gonna do yeah. a whole house, but we can definitely do a room. We can make one of those circle beds. Beds that are circles. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Like an upholstered stool, but it's big and it's a bed. Uh huh. Okay. We can definitely try to do that. Shout out to Wiggle Room. What's up, Alexandria? What's up, Trash Can? What's up? It says, uh, what's your most memorable craft? My most memorable craft? Uh, what would you say? Like the ice castle? Uh, that was pretty or insane. Mystery Shack? Mystery Shack, I'm going to say. Just, I had so much fun. We, and we did that one over so many different uh, videos. Mystery Shack was definitely one of my favorites. The ice castle, man. Like, I was getting scratched up. All that glitter was yeah. like sandpaper. And so <laughs> or the tree house. The tree, I still have the tree house. I'm actually about ready to go ahead and let that go to recycling. So you should do a doll glasses shop. Yeah, sure. Or a kiosk. You know? Literally what your dad's. <laughs> I know. I know. <laughs> I was like, Dad, no. <laughs> and people like, yeah, you should do it. Uh, can you try the app called uh, Gotcha Life? Uh, I can, we can look into that for sure. Shout out to Donata Martin. What's up? Shout out to Mary Smith. What's up? Make a neon room. Okay, what do you mean by neon room? Because we've done a neon, like, glow-in-the-dark room before. We did that for Disney Descendants. That video is on YouTube. The whole room, like, glows in the dark. And uh, if you're just looking for something super bright and colorful, like a bunch of neon colors, we can totally do that. Are you going to make another cafe? I have to because we talked about it in Summer in Cali. Like, you know, uh, Caroline and Sabrina are supposed to be redoing it the cafe and I haven't gotten around to actually doing it yet so we kind of just like have them in there sporadically until I get around to making that. Have you made a Sailor Moon inspired room? I have not made a Sailor Moon inspired room. We've just done a couple Sailor Princesses. Um, we kind of stopped making the Sailor Princesses because I don't know a lot of people were just like really upset at the Princess Sailor Moon mashup that we were doing. And then all of a sudden, everybody was, like, drawing Sailor Moon Princess mashups. And, you know, so I just I was like, well, I just haven't got around to it yet. But um, I guess we can go back and revisit that. So, make Summer and Callie's College. Right now they're on the summer thing. break. <laughs> make a college. I can do a room. Because, <laughs> you know, space is somewhat of an issue. Uh, we can definitely put that on the list make a pet vet we do have a pet like clinic type thing with like the silver counter and all that we did that in a video a, a while back oh what, what's going on my phone okay 
Have you ever, can you play Roblox? We are still working on our building our map. So uh, my son Noah, he's he has a map called the Miniverse, and we're working on that. It takes a lot of time to learn how to build a map and like script, which we're not completely great at yet. So as soon as that is at a point where we can make a video, we will definitely make a video. Can you make a line art cat? I could. I mean, I could if we had more time. Who is your favorite character from Summer and Cali? My favorite character from Summer and Cali? Summer and Cali? What about you? Yeah, Summer and Cali. Yeah. Everybody else kind of sucks. <laughs> That's messed up. I mean, I like Damon. No, I don't like Damon. You don't like Damon? No. Okay, so let's like run through Summer and Cali real, real fast. All right, so we have Nigel. I don't really who's, like Nigel. Who's Naveen? You, did you I like, like Naveen? I like Naveen, but I don't like Nigel. They're the same exact character. I know, but I don't like him. <laughs> okay. Uh, then we have Damon. I don't like Damon. Damon's a whole new character. He's a vampire. Or half vampire, if you're watching the show. Um, I like Damon. I, I really like Damon. He's kind of snarky. He's seen some character development already. He came out pretty like, yo, dude, what's up? And now he's like, oh, I have to avenge my friend. So uh, I like Damon. Uh, Jazz. Who is Jade? I don't like Jazz. You don't like Jazz? For obvious reasons. She's made some bad decisions. Yeah, I will agree. Um, then we have uh, Caroline, who is Carmen. Oh, she's okay. She's okay. Okay. Then we have Sabrina, who is Sky. I don't like her. Yeah, and she's never a likable character. Then we have Alex, who is Anna. I don't like her. I like her. You like Alex? <laughs> I do. Oh my god. I, I, and playing a bad character, I don't know why, but playing the bad guy is so Well, much no, fun. don't think about playing her. Think about her, like, if that person, like, was an actual person, would you like them? No. No, she's she's an awful Person. human being. But <laughs> but without the bad guys, you know, your storyline is just kind of yeah, like... Yeah, but I don't... I don't Rainbow like Sunshine Unicorns all day. Do hey, you hey. like their character? Like, no. No, but she's, ne she's a necessity. Yeah, obviously. Okay. Uh, Summer is Sophie, pretty much. Yeah. Um, her character is basically the same. And then we have uh, Callie, who is Chloe. Mm -hmm. But I think we've taken her in a slightly different uh, direction. direction. Yeah, I think we've incorporated a little bit more of your personality. Let's not scratch the new glasses. We're not. <laughs> um, what's the next question? Sarah wants a shout out. What's up to Sarah? What's up? It's me. What's up? Can you make an Animal Crossing inspired room? Yo. We built an entire Nintendo Switch. Like a gigantic Nintendo Switch with an Animal Crossing room on the inside. Go check that video out. Lots of printables. It is on YouTube. Can you make more dog gowns? We can definitely do our best to make some gowns. I'm not a dress person. So it's probably why you don't see a lot of dresses. But... We can definitely add that to the list. Shout out to Sophia. What's up? Uh, what's the next question? I was trying to pull up some questions on Instagram. It says, can we have a tour of your craft room? I believe there is, there are some cleaning craft room videos and whatnot out there. Right now, since we built the shed, I haven't been so good at keeping my craft room actually clean. Because I can just walk out here and it's always clean. And so I don't worry about my mess as much. So... It's like a mess. I was like, do you play Animal Crossing? And if you did, what would your character look like? I, I play Animal Crossing on Pocket Camp. Because I'm too cheap to buy the actual game and a Nintendo Switch. But I'll buy a smart doll, so my logic is weird. Um, <laughs> I don't get it. And my character, she just has like hair and a little triangle nose. And she wears whatever free outfit I went out of the fortune cookies. <laughs> uh what's up pedro how you doing what's up sabrina what's up mincy crafts do a black pink room uh are you talking a black pink fan or are you talking about like a room that black pink themselves will be in so specify what you're looking for and we will see what we can do on that one a shout out to chris middleton what's up can you make a YouTube inspired room? You know, we are like literally arguing all the time on what defines a YouTube inspired room. I would room. say arguing. 
No, it's like it's going back and forth. Because what oh, yeah, I yeah. think is a YouTube inspired room is a room that you would see YouTubers in. Yeah. Unless you're talking about a room that's plastered with a YouTube logo. That's something. If that's what you're looking for. Mm, but who's in that room? Yeah. But if you're looking for like a room that a YouTuber would be in, well, that's pretty much any room. Because Yeah, that just depends on what YouTuber you're trying to, you're trying yeah. to get. If it's a beauty guru, then it's literally just a colored wall. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's like a white wall. Or like a bathroom shower curtain right behind you. No, it's literally like, I swear, it's the glitter, just glitter scrap of paper behind them. And you're done. If it's a workout room, we got brick wall, white wood floor, good lighting, you're done. You got Chloe Ting. Chloe like, Ting. Yeah. If you're, and then what's, what's the other one? If you're a gamer, we've done a gamer room. You're using a chair, you see some stuff behind them. But like it's a whole mainly bunch of toys. the chair, like takes up the either microphone yeah we've done a green screen so i don't know the, the youtube room we're still working on but that. then it's like one of the life people they just it's just a bedroom it's like their house it's a bedroom yeah like like i've eaten all my lipstick off by the way i know you literally should not have lipstick because like that's how you die <laughs> <laughs> all my new lipstick is all natural because i eat off my lipstick it just doesn't last um it says, was it hard for you to start a YouTube channel? I've been thinking about starting one, but I'm not quite sure. Starting a YouTube channel is very... No. So, <laughs> starting... <laughs> bad, Bella, bad! <laughs> <laughs> starting a YouTube channel is not difficult. You can literally do it in the afternoon. Uh, the difficult part is to keep doing it every afternoon. So, a lot of... The, 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 the trick to YouTube is consistency. That's all it is. It's, it's just make sure you do it and constantly do it and keep going and everything else will come into play now if you're waiting for the numbers and the people to find you everyone's different some people go completely viral and they balloon like in two to three years some people can go crazy in like a matter of months some people can been at it for like 10 years and you're just you're just trucking along slow and steady i'm literally the little engine that could you know just i think i can i think i can and i just keep going just trucking along at the same pace did it for 10 years and this is how far we've gotten um i haven't ever had like insane growth or gone viral or i've never had any of those things so we just Keep at it consistently every single day, and you will grow. That's just how it'll work. Uh, teeny toy unboxing. Those are the LOL Surprise little tiny toys. I do have them. I do. I just never opened them. Animal Crossing clothes. What if you made, like... Cause Animal Crossing clothes are regular Barbie clothes. Some people will, like, draw the characters, like, as people, and they'll have, like, their, like, personalities as, like, a, like an illustration, you know? For the Animal Crossing people? Yeah, I mean, not, not the people, though. It's, like, the characters. The, 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 the animals. The animals that are that you're, come to your camp. Yeah, so why don't you... What if you made, like, dolls, and they have, like, dress, like... Have you seen the way they dress? Yeah, but like, but like better. <laughs> it's, it's like we all wear tunic dresses, <laughs> or we all wear oversized t-shirts that, and and no bottoms. It's just, <laughs> I mean, like, <laughs> and like the you buy an outfit in and because I can only reference uh, Pocket Camp because all I know I don't play the regular one. But I buy an outfit or I get an outfit that looks really cute on my character, then I'll put it on one of the pets, not their pets, the animals. And it's, it's, it was a dress, but now it's a shirt. Like, why? It was all cute, and now all this stuff is just hanging out. I'm just like, man. <laughs> just like, <laughs> I don't get it. Um, okay, shout out to Angelique Guerrero. What's up? It says, what color would you say Evie from Descendants hair is? Blue? Her hair is like a dark blue. That's what I would say. Um, you just had chicken pot pie. Wow. Awesome. Yeah. Can you make a dog kennel? We've done a dog, we've done a pet shelter, we've done a pet shop, we've done a dog park. If you're looking for a kennel, you talk about like the cage to put your dog in, we can definitely look into that. in like the places where dogs are. In cages? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, like a wall of cages. You know, I've talked about that. We, we have talked about that. And I've seen some pretty nice kennels that look pretty-ish. They know? have like some dog places where you can like buy dogs but it's like designer dogs and and like it's just like a really posh looking space right? They're like, like really high-end like dog 
stores. You mean like a dog hotel? No, it's you buy dogs there. They're in like Korea and stuff. Oh, it was exactly. Yeah, I've never yeah. seen that. Puppy, f uh, we're not going to even touch puppy farms <laughs> today. We're, a not, puppy farm? we're not going there. That's a whole thing of craziness. So we're not, <laughs> we're not talking about that. <laughs> uh, can you make a flamingo room? Uh, sure, why not? What's your favorite part of posting a video? My favorite part of posting a video is clicking upload and be like, done. done. <laughs> and then starting on the next one, it all starts over again. It's like a cycle. So never ending cycle. Oh, <laughs> shout out to Shay C. What's up? Uh, can you, to celebrate emoji day, make a room. We have, we made emoji pillows. But I haven't done an emoji room. I believe there are some emoji rooms out there in the world of YouTube. We didn't make them, but um, they're out there. Black pink doll review. I don't. Are there dolls? I mean, there's those little dolls. We did the black pink figure review. We have that. If they're making ten to twelve inch dolls, I had, you're telling me news I didn't know, um, and I don't have them. So, uh, can you make custom Roblox room? I guess we can try. Roblox mm -hmm. looks, yeah, I guess we can try. And uh, can you do LL Surprise Craft? We're doing OMG crafts in our OMG LL Surprise unboxings. Y'all, I mean, LL Surprise is cool, but um, OMG is like my thing, so um, I like OMG a lot better <laughs> than LL Surprise. <laughs> I have a thing about articulation, okay? If you cannot bend your arms or do like basic things, chances are I'm not gonna work with it too much. That's just, that's just, yeah. To anyone who's watching <laughs> from brands. So, um, yeah. <laughs> just, I mean, I'm just being honest, okay? I like OMG better. We did a poll, and like 86% of you all like OMG better. So why am I getting shushed? I'm just saying. We did a poll, and you all were like, OMG. I think like 23,000 of you voted. And, um, yeah. I mean, a little surprise is cool. If that's what your thing is. It's just not really, you know. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I guess we have been on for a very long time. Yeah. We have ran over by 11 minutes. So these shows are supposed to be 30 minutes. And we're at 42 minutes. So we should stop before someone gets a popsicle stick in their eye. You're going to put your eye out. Put it down. <laughs> OK. She doesn't listen to me in real life. So I can't like go full on mom right now. <laughs> OK, we're going to do shout outs. We want to give a shout out to Lucy. What's up? Shout out to Amal. What's up? Shout out to Jennifer. What's up? Shout out to Rue Viva. What's up? Judge Zoja Pop. What's up? Shout out to Miranda Morris. What's up? Ashley Scott. What's up? No, Manda Morris. Manda. What's up, Manda? What's up to Alejandra? What's up? Anna Grace James. What's up? Abby A. What's up? Uh, I'm gonna pull up some other ones real quick. Shout out to Snow Girl four five three two one. What's up? Um, Alyssa. What's up? Shout out to um, Melissa Craven. There's Alyssa and then Melissa. What's up? Anastasia Reeve. What's up? Cupcake 25. What's up? Dreamer Studios 15. What's up? Sophia K. What's up? Kenny Doll 2017 if you're watching. What's up? And what's up? And Blogging with Barbie. What's up? And uh, two more. Uh, Jay's World. What's up? And then someone asked, uh, this is a really crazy question. Uh, not crazy, but thought-provoking it says as for you as a collector what do you think is the purpose of collecting dolls what is the fun. purpose yeah it's just fun what's the purpose of collecting anything ah what is the purpose of collecting uh or i think it's it. just to to look at it <laughs> just be like wow look what i collected um i don't know the purpose of collecting i collect dolls because i like them 
and I play with them and I do photography. So having more things in my arsenal, arsenal gives me, yeah. It's like, just like when you're like practicing anatomy, you have to know how to draw everything so you can, when you need yeah. to know how to draw it, you can. So if you're doing it photography, you need to have every option in case you need it. Yeah, like I need the clothes because who knows what my outfit wants to be that day. Different head sculpts make different dolls. They look differently. And um, so that's, I collect because it's fun. I like taking photos and I like doing the doll shows and I like having options. So that's why I collect. And it's cute. I mean, come on. Have you seen the remit stuff? It's like adorable. So what's up to everyone? We are about to head out of here. Special real fast shout out to Creative Curious and Lee, Lily E. What's up? Toy Tunes, what's up? And shout out to Melissa Esser. What's up? Thank you so much for joining us on YouTube Live with Toy and Bella while we made line art. So let's take a quick moment, show you line art. These are the ones that we started out with. So all framed up, here is my leaf and my light bulb. I did these ahead of time. <laughs> Cheated, yes, I know. And then we make this one. So when you do working with foam board, you do have to be careful about putting little pits in it because it's squishy. So be careful with that. And as this, you kept practicing the happy crafting? Mm -hmm. I like this one the best. And I even got a little happy crafting. So you might see some of these in our dollhouse. I notice you, Peyton Taylor. I see you. Thank you everyone for joining us on YouTube Live with Toy and Bella. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell and follow us on Instagram at My Froggy Stuff and the Frog Vlog and Bella of My Froggy Stuff. And we will see all of you next week. Premiere Summer in Cali tomorrow. And yeah, thanks for joining us. We love you. Bye. Bye.